What's up, what's up guys? We are back at the airport and today we are heading to Paris for 48 hours. And then from Paris, after that, we go to San Francisco. We, we fly into San Francisco. And then we'll be going to spend six days with my family over in El Dorado Hills, where they live. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna have some fun, so let's go. not been back to I've been to Paris this is probably I think my fifth time sixth time here and um, I came here with Amadeo when we first first met like yeah one of our first travels together anyways <laughs> we're back and I'm so excited let's go this is tonight's outfit I'm not wearing a coat but because we're going straight into a taxi um, and then to a restaurant, I think I'll, I'll survive. But no walking around, that's for sure. Let's go. Uh, look at this beautiful room. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I have to show you this room. Look at this carpet. Look at that desk. Oh my goodness. And I don't just with his ambiance. Oh, 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 
Eiffel Tower over behind me. Um, okay, so I have to step over here real quick because I just realized I forgot. This is the thing when you do vlogging is you forget to take photos with your actual phone and then everything's on here and I have no content on here. But, oh my god, it's so beautiful and I'm freezing because I don't have a coat. But luckily our hotel's right behind here, so let's go. Eight o'clock in the morning right now. The sky is getting straight line on. Oh my gosh, it is coming down. We're waiting for our breakfast in our room. They do that in a lot of Paris hotels now. Do not waste food. Bonjour! We are getting ready to leave. Hamadeo's out making a call. I kicked him out because I can never record because I take longer to get ready and he's like ready to go. So the minute I'm ready, he's like, let's go. And it gives me no time to sit and chat. Um, and now that he's on the phone, I'm like, I need to record. So go out. Anyways, I wanted to share. This is one of my Christmas presents. And if you have a chance to stop and smell this, Oh my gosh, it's Christian Dior's um, new scent, J'adore, and it's alcohol free. So like if you spray it on silk or polyester, it doesn't stain and it also doesn't dry out your hair. So, and it smells so fresh, fancy, fun, and all the Fs. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, we're going out in Paris today. I've had a few like clothing problems. I got a new wine red uh, turtleneck from Zara and I put, I clipped the tag, I clipped the side tag, I put it on and there was a hole in the neck. So now I'm like, am I going to return that? We'll see, but that was one of my outfits. Then I forgot um, a pair of shoes for one of the jeans that I have. So I basically have like two pairs of pants and one skirt and my outfit for the Nutcracker tonight, which I can't really wear that elsewhere. But I have a pair of pants waiting for me when we get to California, a black pair of denim from Hudson, which are these white pants. These white pants are just super low cut, um, but I love, the way that they fit my big bum. I'm a little girl, but I've got a big bum. And, um, you know, if the pocket's not right, the, the jeans look cheap, and I really like the way these pockets look. So, I'm putting on some boots today. We're going with a neutral look. We're, we're gonna go walk the strip here in Champs Elysees. It's all the high-end luxury stores, Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, Dior, Chanel, and, uh, just window shopping, but it's beautiful over here. So we're gonna do that, and then I wanna try to get over to the Galleria Lafayette just to see how it looks in Christmas time. It's the, the giant mall here. And then, what more? There's a Christmas market over, they said there's one over Notre Dame. Um, oh my gosh, where was the other one? Oh, in the gardens, um, gardens by the Louvre, that there's supposed to be a Christmas market. And then from like two to six o'clock, the rain is gonna come down again. So we're probably gonna wanna find some shelter, um, which could be lunch, which could be a museum, an exposition, who knows, but we're gonna need to do that. And then around five o'clock, I do wanna be back in the hotel getting ready for um, the Nutcracker because it starts at seven, I believe. So yeah, now I have to decide which jacket I want to use. I turned off all the yellow lights in here because it's just so bad and hard to watch yellow. This is not that warm, warm, warm for how cold it is right now in Paris. Plus, it's not um, rainproof. But I like it because I'm considering wearing my 
French Laure. Oh my god, sorry if I destroyed that. It's made in France. Look at this pretty label. Oh my gosh, I bought it last time I was here in Paris in September of 2021. Um, I never know how I love these. You know, you can wear these a thousand different ways. There's no right or wrong way. Um, I can wear it like that, or I can wear it pulled back. I don't know. Or you can wear it like very like this. So I just saw a girl walk by you guys. Oh my god, it was beautiful. I decided I need more black in my wardrobe, which is actually a coat that I was like, oh, I really needed a black coat last night. But she had a beret on and it was black and it had little like studs and pearls and diamonds, not diamonds, but like rhinestones on it. Oh my gosh, it was so pretty. If I see it today, I'm gonna get it because it's too cute. So it's this coat or I'll come over here with you guys. Here's my outfit. Oh, but you can see these pants. Like, they're just so low cut. And my shirt, if it goes up, I just not into showing skin. And this shirt likes to hike up. This is this is from Zara, just to tell you where everything's from. Um, I think I feel like I would have should have gotten a size bigger. I do like shirts that are um, fitted, but because this one, I don't know if it's the size of my boobs, but it goes up for some reason. Anyways. Um, I have this fur coat from London. My blazer's under here. It's from a London vintage store, so I did not buy new. So who knows what year it's from. So that could be nice. Or we could do very neutral. That is what I'm leaning towards. But the thing is, is I'm going to wear this tonight with my other outfit. I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this. But, but then it's like, do I wear the brown hat? Does the brown hat go? So... Decisions, decisions, <sighs> decisions. I think I'm gonna go with the, the safe neutral on neutral and wear the white coat and probably no beret because I think I don't have any other hats. So I'll show you what I end up with. Hold th that thought. All right, guys, this is the final choice. I'm going with a brown hat even though I'm wearing all neutrals just because I have brown hair. This is my little Zara purse. Oh, and I have my really beautiful um, gloves from Florence, Italy. Real leather. So yeah, off we go. Um, I just put in these new little earrings that Amadeo got me for Christmas. They're these little, just little gold hoops, but little extra something. So yeah, off we go. Here's my guy. Look at us. We look so small. Dun, 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 dun. And these are, see, this is what I'm dealing with, you guys. So I am hot, so we need to get out in the street where this is actually useful clothing. <laughs> See how pretty the carpet is. We've already Perfect. started perfectly. My photographer has taken some great shots. Well done, babe. Thank Crossing you. the street in front of our hotel because it is so <laughs> cute. And now we're gonna go explain. Look at how cute his shoes are, guys. I got him these. They're vans with red laces. They're like little boots. They're so cute and they have like like a rubber thing on the front to like protect from water. They're so good. And he says they're very comfortable. So if you need gift ideas, they're really cute. Anyways, there's Max Mara. There's Louis Vuitton. Literally a block away from our hotel. And I can't believe the pricing of our hotel. It's literally on the back side of Plaza Athene. And <laughs> it's about 2,000 euros. 250 less. Oh, there's your and it's like just a friend house. Oh my gosh, we have to go, we have to go, we have to go. Very Winston, look at that. Problems, I would never thought that you could be causing these problems. It smells so bright with eyes like these diamonds. Caution, I know I should have known. Right now you're not alone.
accomplished. I was on the mission to change my shoes and I did not bring enough shoes. Plus I have been needing something like these uh, in my wardrobe. How cute are these? Oh my goodness. The brand is Minelli. So cute. Now I can take on this city much easier and we don't have to waste money on um, taxi. Now we're gonna go find a place to sit down, imagine. Um, Amadeo really wants to have like an aperitif, so like a vermouth, or I'm gonna have like a mimosa, not a mimosa, a champagne. Um, but he's over there on a phone call, poor guy. He's over there on the phone with his lawyer in the United States because something happened, but he just handles the stress so well and I, I just admire him so much. And I have to say it here because they don't say it here. I mean, I say it to him, but I think it just should be known. Should be known. But anyways, now to the bar. Oh, and I can show you what my view is. Look at this. Hello there, beautiful. We just got the best news. So in Spain, they play like these lottery tickets, like with family, with friends at the Christmas time. And the ticket that Amadeo's dad bought the whole family, everybody has won. Each ticket costs 20 euros, but each of us just won 120 euros thanks to him buying us them. This was the best news after just having bought some booze. So, how amazing! Look at this beauty. It's Batman. And now we eat with this view behind us. Gorgeous. All right guys, Vlogger Street in the wild. The street name is Rue de la Universite. In order to get this shot, I mean, what's the key okay, guys? We found what I was looking for, a cafe with a view. Oh my gosh, and it's so cute. Look, it's got these little trees. It's got this handsome guy right here. All right, guys, we are officially heading out for the Nutcracker. We had a wonderful afternoon walking around the Eiffel Tower area and chilling out and having a little champagne and crip. We were at that cafe and took a little nap so that we would have some energy for this evening. And this is my outfit. I actually wore this for Christmas last year um, with a different earring, but I'm using it again. It's a cute little Zara set. I absolutely love it. It's so chic and it is so comfortable. Um, this is my purse. I don't remember where I got this. It was very inexpensive, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's just this beautiful emerald. It's like literally the same color and it's got just this cute design and it's velvet, so it works perfectly. Wearing the same earrings I wore last night from a store in the mall by my house. Um, they're nickel free, so that's important to me. And I'm gonna wear my big fur coat. So let's go because I wanna see the lights in Champs Elysees, the street, see if we can get some photos and go with my handsome guy. Just can't help myself with this mirror. Look at my gentleman. Oh, it's just so pretty in here. Sure doesn't look like this during the day. He's making fun of me. 
because if you saw on my Instagram, I was debating between um, a certain dress for this event. And I asked everyone, I was like, could you, could I wear this to the ballet in Paris? It's a beautiful dress. It's very like black tie, lots of sequins and very decorative and with a big fur coat over it. And I asked my friend, Amadeo was like a hard no. He was like, no, but if you want to, which is really sweet of him, but he was like, you don't know Parisians if you think that that's okay. And I was like, well, let me ask my friend who's a Parisian. And he said, definitely not. And you should be thinking about who you're with and if they're gonna be comfortable with you and that. I was like, that's a weird take on it. But in the end, I decided no, because I have this nice outfit and I would hate to be uncomfortable for physical reasons as well as like looking out of place. So um, anyways, he's making fun of me. He's like, imagine you here with that on. Yeah, I would not be happy and it's raining and my pants are very wet, so yeah. Cheers to making the right decisions when it comes to clothes. Thanks, babe. Hello. Say hello to the beautiful gal herself. There she is. Good morning. I am back in an outfit that I wore in Copenhagen because it was it's perfect and it's gonna be my flight outfit. I'm in some thermal Calcedonia leather leggings, a really nice knitted sweater that's kind of like open, and then I have like a little tank top underneath if I get hot on the plane. And then this can be like a blanket and boy, I don't know if you can see my boots for walking in Paris because it's still very wet outside and I want to be comfortable because we've only got three hours we're doing checkout right now we're gonna go walk towards the Louvre and see what the Christmas markets and the gardens are over there and then we have our pickup at 1 p.m. here our flight doesn't leave until about 6 p.m. we were advised that we should get to the airport about four hours early so we're gonna do that There's Christian Dior. So we're basically walking down that street to head towards the moon. Look how beautiful this corner is. It's starting to rain. Hopefully it won't rain too much. And just behind closed doors, we have these beautiful discoveries. Like a gigantic chandelier of crystal. Look at that. Garden, and we're gonna go see what they've got here. And I heard there's a Christmas market. I don't quite see one. We're gonna see the Louvre. I've got very big circles today because I drank some wine yesterday. And I haven't drank in a long time, and the bed is not comfortable for a five-star hotel. So that's okay. 
the, the hotel in general is amazing. And we've checked out. All right, we found the market over by the Louvre. And there's an ice skating rink. Un qué? Un vino caliente. Oh, yeah, yo. Sí. Sí, sí. It's so crazy from here. She looks so small, but when you zoom in, you see how small the people are. We're 
look at the vintage Chanel's. That's beautiful, the black one and the vintage Hermes and the Chanel belt. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised these haven't sold. Look at this place. It's a perfumery and it's like all tile. Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Crazy. It's a crazy space. It's like a bathroom. <laughs> This just looks so regal. Just up in the sky like that. Oh, sorry, it's so shaky. Look at that. Look at these streets. They're just incredible. So if you guys want to come here, this place is called Galerie Vivienne and it is incredible. sharing a beer. I'm starving to death and we are close to our gate. So success. This is what success looks like. <laughs>